ninjas my name is Kansi Mean and you're welcome to another episode of my glass of happiness today I woke up first thing in the morning and the first thing I wanted to do was share with you my ninjas how I come up with these small sets for instance this particular set I'm seated on right now I want to share today how I come up with these things uh, where they be because I do it from home and today I'm going to have a chance to <coughs> to host some of my girlfriends, Didan, who is a presenter on TV, on Urban TV, and a, a radio presenter on Radio City. I'm going to host them and we'll talk about how to create content for their online platforms because they're also creating content a lot like my glass of happiness so that they're able to post it online and follow in my footsteps. You know, it's working. I'm really excited that I have people that want to be a part of it. Then I'm also hosting Irene in Tale who is an amazing musician here in Uganda and in East Africa, has done shows all over the world, has been on and off the continent, in and out of the country performing. And she watched my glass of happiness and also wants to take time out in her in the comfort of her home and play some sweet music every once in a while for you. So all that is here today. Today we get to, um, Didan and Tale have a few questions for me, I have a few questions for them. So it's just a mix, a mix and match episode that is going to show us how to come up with perfect shows at a very, very reasonable price. Do you see how beautiful it is? I love this set today and I'm going to show you exactly how it is done. So this morning when I woke up, so I woke up early, also anxious, eager. I couldn't wait to put up sets. Now this gentleman helping me out is called Hillary. You know, he doubles as everything else, security, what? And if you notice, I'm doing it a little bit far from the main house so that I have space. I'm using ordinary nails, ordinary clothes. He's called Hillary. He doesn't do production, but today is my production assistant. You know, everyone around me has to learn what I do. So I know you can do this, my ninjas. I know you can. It really turned out well. You know, we are still cleaning up. I wish the irons would come in so early today. Or oh, Didan comes in early. Because the sets, see? Beautiful. I, I did two separate sets. Something colorful for one person, the blue one. One person can shoot from there. But if you're two, then you sit on the side where there's... there's um. There's provision for two seats. It's really beautiful. And you can see I use just simple palettes. And really, if you've done such an amazing work, why not, you know, pause and talk about it, you know, and show people how you've done very well. I really liked it. I love the red. The red might come out really appropriately since we are here celebrating Valentine's. Um, so here I'm going to have to interview Didan and Irene separately. This episode today is disorganized and I beg to be forgiven. Okay, this particular set when I put the yellow cloth, it looked nice, yeah? Nice from a distance. I got closer, it was nice, but something looked like it was missing. And I threw on a pillow with beautiful words about dreaming big, laughing, believing, what? So it all became so nice. See how I look like I belong? <laughs> I really like these things so it's simple really these are different rugs I, I have so many rugs at home i get really cold and i like throwing in rugs you see irene really looks nice so that's where she played the guitar from we actually get a chance later to see her playing so we used palettes simple cheap chairs actually both sets the chairs i've used on both sets about 150k ugandan shillings yeah not a lot of money if you know what you're getting. So Didan also showed up later. Those are the two. That's Didan, the one who smiles for days for the rest of her life. Today it is a full house. You will not believe it. You will not believe who has talked to me. You go slowly, slowly, slowly. Not that one, not that one. Me? Not this one, not this one. <laughs> I am the center of the grass of happiness, but I have very important people around me. I have Didan. Didan, well. Hello. Yes, we're going to meet Didan. She's one of the friends that came over so that they get to learn how I'm doing this thing of grass of happiness. Even if for them, they go and start also doing something, something like that. Then we have Irene. <laughs> Hello. <and Tane. laughs> hey, yeah, if you don't you know how it means, you don't have internet. You have not Googled. You cannot Google. I know that I didn't tell. Is the song stress? She's so good. But she, she kind of swallowed like a fruit or like a saxophone. Any of the instruments you know that produces music that is dangerous. She swallowed one of those and she's one of those famous musicians we have here in Uganda. And she was watching my glass of happiness in one of those days when she was doing nothing. Yeah. 
Mm. So she watched one of my episodes and was like, yeah. So even in me, I can also produce my things. So I called her, and as you can see, maybe behind, remember the sets that I told you about? We are going to go and I show you how I built those sets behind. There are two sets, so we get to record Irene, and then we go to record Didan, hey, hey, telling yeah. us hello. She has ideologies. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for you to hear what is in Didan's head. And then there's someone I keep missing. Who? Obviously. Does not look like someone you should miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I keep passing, <laughs> pretending as if I've not seen. <laughs> you, you also believe that you don't look like someone that should be missed. I keep looking for you when you're searching. Uh, hey, so what's your name? Please introduce Oh, I call him Hennes. Eh? His name is very confusing, so if you don't get it, call him Hennes. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Yese Oman Rafiki, but you can call me Hennes. Uh, you see? <laughs> Hese Oman Rafiki, but you can call him Hennessy, and he's a songwriter. He's written the Kabulinganese of today. Can you believe? Yes. This man, take a sente wola ba, writer of Moses. But you what? Yes. Just yeah, every yeah, hit. Why do, but wait, you guys. why don't you musicians tell us who writes your songs I so that even if for us way, we get to know? I always tell people that people that write my music, mm -hmm. even when I sing, sometimes I include the name of the writer. Like yes, is in my song Cholo Oza. Towards the end, I say yes, Oman Rafiki, which I also think Bebe Cool does as well. Yeah, even but I'm waiting to be told. Sorry, this is something I'm saying. <laughs> and this is something I'm saying on behalf of the ninjas. Yeah. So for her, she knows she sings yes, say what what. Someone. For us, we think yes is a sarang. We don't know when she says yes, say what what. For us who are watching, we don't know yes is the one who wrote. But tanang, me what I want as a person listening to your music, Irene, yes. is to be able mm -hmm. to see you saying, "Hi guys, my name is Irene, and I'm gonna sing for you this song. It was written to me by Yes Stroke Hennessy. Now that is credit. Yes. But when you sing it in a song. I don't think no, I sing our it in a song. Mm. I sing it in a song, but also when I'm when I have interviews and I'm asked about the writer of the song, I always make sure, even when I'm not asked, I'll make sure I'm going to tell people this song was written by Yes Oman Rafiki. So, yeah. Rafiki Rafiki meaning grab, right? <laughs> so Rafiki has written um Take a Sente Wallaba Um Kabulenga ne Bebe Cool. Mbozi za malwa choro woza kanakoze kanakoze homucho kanakoze kanakoze and even when he's writing his music he knows what to write it for you know write kanakoze and give it to amichiga to spoil it me i would be saying kanakoze 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 i wouldn't sound as sweet as that what what was the name of sang Winnie Nwaji. hi Winnie. yeah you better do a glass of happiness too so today I know I'm taking you all around. Sometimes you'll be wondering why have you put internet to watch this girl to waste your time. Today I'm not wasting your time. Irene Tale and Didan are here. Didan, sorry. Yeah, not telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Now, Didan, I usually don't like people who are later than me. So there's yeah, that no, thing in my hair. Yeah, yeah. So, how you life also matters. So since it matters, let's talk about it. Yes. Didan is a presenter at Radio City. Yes, I am. And then there's so much more. There's Aban on there's TV. Yes. So she's a TV presenter. She has a breakfast show on Aban. She She's a, a radio presenter, Radio City, MC. and she hosts. She's hosted blankets and wine, every all those posh things of of talking to people who are white. Eh? You know those people who are contemporary uh -huh. things. You're in gardens. You decide to sit on your mat, and it becomes a function. Yeah. yeah. So whenever you do functions like that, usually she's the one organizing you people. When you've drunk things, we don't even know the names too. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Didan's speciality, yeah. and then she has expertise in so many things that I believe you, my ninjas, don't mind listening from. Her. So, this is going to be the day I help Irene and Tali and Didan launch their YouTube pages. Because you, my ninjas, have loved me so much, and they want to fluke that up. Didan, stop dancing. When you dance, they can't hear. Why am I even showing? So, this is the day that I get to introduce these girls to my world of production. So I actually had to come up with this to build these sets before they all come because they started coming in like from midday to one o'clock. Then we had lunch <laughs> when they, of course, we have to first feed and, you know, and give ourselves energy. So we had a little bit of lunch and and got to know each other and sat and enjoyed. Yeah, I know you want to know what it is we did. So I recorded a little bit for you. Juice. Me, I'm a fan of onions. I shall not be judged. You don't find onions in your potatoes? Sorry. I eat all the potatoes, all the onions. 
Even in zone, you know? This man, eh, he was there being serious outside. Time for food, he has humbled himself. <laughs> Irene, yes? when you're standing in line, you're supposed to serve yourself, not shoot the I food. Mean, Snapchat the food. She's the one who said she was hungry, right? And then you're the one who is hungry. Didan, hmm? show her EG, for example. For example, how should food here. be eaten? This is how you should eat. Gwe, Gwe. Yes. That's domestic More violence. Points. Irene and you're being recorded. Yes. So what does that say about you? Beating a man, it's domestic if violence. So many men man, have suffered in this Africa. You, you, you women, you beat men if and then we keep quiet. Eh? And then the men keep quiet. Mm. 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 Hi. You see her there hiding. She's in charge of making all of us look good, eat, drink. She's amazing. I doubt you guys will get started by the time you come here. <laughs> that what you are doing it's not good recording people when they are eating <laughs> mm. because what kind of cab should you be able to give you when for us we are eating no, you even have to start chewing as if you're a white person. Mm. <laughs> African Can I have a fuck, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't even chew normally on your hair. You have to swallow in the stomach. Mm. We put the covers on the plate. Let me see us. Etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. I didn't want to cry. Is that part of the question? You're coming at me when I'm eating. Yes. So the first thing we are going to do is have Irene play for us a guitar. Yeah, so that you see what it is I'm telling you. And I keep telling you she started an instrument, you don't believe me. So we had Irene sing us one of her few songs and she was playing a guitar and we realized how extremely normal she is. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's do this. <clears throat> For more music, please go to Irene Tully's YouTube page and straight we went into chatting. So yeah, here we don't have a makeup artist. Yeah, that's how it is so easy for you to do a show. You don't have to have people organizing yourself. She's busy organizing her hair, yeah. which is not hers. Which Even is, me. Which is mine. I have the receipt. <laughs> I'm repositioning my blends because usually they're on the knees. You fold them. And then put them back in the, the bra and organize yourself. Did you guys hear her sing? See, I told you she swallowed a saxophone <coughs> and you refused. Indeed. She sings Under and you problem. say yes. This is the best I can do on a guitar. <coughs> and then, but there are some cons on on being what? A guitar player. Please explain yourself. I was laughing at her name. First of all. <laughs> When you play guitar, these luxuries of doing nails, what, what, what do they call them? Acrylics. Acrylics. See, my gel nails. Yeah. You have to give By the way, I used to have so bad nails. I used to go around pocketing. <laughs> Look at her. No, this is not by choice. I bite them, yeah, but it's easier for you to play when your nails are like very, very short. Bambi. Yeah, but I don't regret it. Do you it. ever do your makeup? I, I you save my makeup. Do your makeup? Hmm? I do my makeup. What can you do without? I like can't do without the things. my you can't do eyelashes without. and lipstick. But That's no, like you can sing, you girl. I tell you, you even sound like you have a cough. <laughs> Who sings I don't like have that a way? cough. We also, can she say, what, what is she, how is she, ah, you see? <laughs> we are she laughs and we get scared. She's <laughs> like that, but she can sing properly. And you've properly. Jinxed me, but I don't have a cough. <laughs> my voice is just, what do they call it? People like to call it husky, others hoarse, others cough. It has no ventilators. She has a coarse voice. A coarse so, yeah. voice. So yeah, but, but I, I don't like have it. It sounds a lot like Tony <clears throat> Braxton, those brandies of those days. My, my heart has is way, way deep. So meanwhile, I'm trying to be friends with her so she can teach me how to sing. Anyway, but Irene also mm -hmm. saw the glass of happiness and actually wants to do, you see what she was doing here, just giving an a cappella. She wants to be introducing her new songs and her new projects to us here on YouTube. But she's going mm -hmm. to have her own channel, which she is going to call 
Ntale unchained. Unchained. Tale unchained. Tale unchained. Yes. Which chains are you breaking free from? Because are they take a shackles of my feet? <clears throat> so what? Shackles dance? of my feet. <laughs> like I'm free right now. I can do whatever I want. I can create. What should we I expect to see to on a fans. show like that? Um, definitely you'll be seeing me talking like uh to my fans mm -hmm. answering you know, some questions answering personal questions even when they're not personal anything can like, you like teach I'll someone just how be to me. sing you know you don't just teach someone how to sing they either know how to sing or they don't know. i'm so glad but, you, but you can like that yes i have people who inbox me and tell me and i feel it's in my heart like, it's like me telling you and teach me how to make people laugh like, that's the thing someone tells me i feel it people have always told me i'm funny yeah so I want to come and be funny with you. I feel I'm funny. Ninjas, I don't be knowing what to tell you, I swear. So yeah, some things are just God-given. You mm. know, if you can sing, he gave you that gift. If you're a comedian and you can make people laugh bright and their day, mm. yeah, I mean, it's just a gift from God. You know, when you force it, people won't laugh. Even when you force singing, people won't enjoy. So just, I mean, find out what you're really good at and do that. Simple yeah. as that. And today we learned how to do <clears throat> sets. I'm also yes. going to go to her place and for her first for her first um iron and chained episode I'll help her out we'll yes. set up a set together I'll show you how it has it, it it has happened I showed them how I did this so everyone is inspired Didan is there saying oh I'm going to be the biggest <laughs> I'm gonna to be famous on YouTube she's already <laughs> even counting the money yet I've told her Irene I'm telling oh mm. yes so Irene recently yes got recently my I got my very first paycheck from YouTube you people you have no idea <laughs> after how long how, after like five years hey listen guys me you I didn't know? told you one and a half years she waited for five years yeah to get like her first five years check. to get my really like my first paycheck I could not believe it I was like eh, there's money, money on come. YouTube <laughs> money comes just go to Western Union and pick your money <laughs> I was like oh my god I need don't to take talk. this serious she you are a is hearing Hey, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Before they come for things. us. They're now telling hey, us how much did you do. One of those people ah, don't like it. That's what they came at now. You are a Elivas alone. Elivas. Elivas. So, and what I really wanted to know, because since I'm going to start doing this, I need to know how do you get comfortable in front of the camera? First of all, the reason I started doing this is for you to know that people get to love you so much when they know who you really are. That's you don't true. have to be so genane soka and you first squeeze it and it faces these ends and then put it and it faces these ends. You know what I'm judging her. Huh? I know. But first she gets to do <laughs> it herself. Fire, people get to no 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 no. People <clears throat> get to hire makeup artists. You don't have yes. to make makeup. If, if you if you're doing it yourself, Irene, I would like if you're going to do an episode, show mm. us how do you actually when you wake up, you put you put How makeup and show makeup? us from the beginning of this is who I am and this is me playing with you. Well, I'll definitely do that. So, yeah, and then getting used to the friend. camera, it's so funny that mm -hmm. you're the one who is asking, how many music videos have you shot? Um, quite a number, but this is... You don't thing. even know the number of yes, videos. But then so you're telling many. me, how do I get... You look but comfortable with, in front of But with music videos, you're performing. And there's a song that's playing, like your music is playing and you're performing to it. That's different. So what makes Here, you nervous? I have to like talk to the people now they're listening to me like i'm worried i don't want to make a mistake you know i don't want to come and go you know so i feel like i feel the need to be very perfect well so if you how ask, do you, how do i just be like who is that get comfortable and just irene everyone is this. perfect in their own way <clears throat> i usually tell people i bang mbogos here my ninjas <laughs> be in my inbox saying and and no 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 and that word was stipulate not stipulate <laughs> i make mistakes and i am not <clears throat> sorry about them because that's how i learn so i think really um mm. don't be anyone else if that's you're shy if you're shy tell them by the way you guys i'm shy so let's help i'm each a very other, shy eh? person if you've noticed i'm not even really looking into the camera like i'm that's a trick you and... just go past the camera and anything just find if you fear <clears throat> being in front of a camera mm -hmm. try to think of it as if or eliminate when you're shooting eliminate anyone that is there don't allow people to sit around and start looking at you it gets you so shy in and you not be able to be yourself hide yourself in your room that's what i was saying like didan was saying that mm. if you don't have a, a big compound and you can't shoot from the compound hide yourself go to your makeup table properly set yourself you have your things you want to tell us tell us what happened today me, yeah. who chucked you who liked you what happened when you went Chucked. to town we want to know we want ninja me i want to know your things okay i do so 
mm-hmm. for the next episode we are going to be launching this girl we're even working I'm on some of her I graphics and by the way we use phones this is not a camera it's a phone i told you that day i receive a check from this company i'll tell you which phone i'm using till then <laughs> till i'll then, be telling you i use a smartphone a <laughs> yes it's a mystery but it's a smartphone a good one yes and today we learned how to build mm-hmm. sets we'll build a set for her for her next episode so that we launch her into the world of youtube and i've promised her that my ninjas will love her actually she sings very well even if i wanted us to finish <laughs> we are doing an acapella or something of oh, even if you know, you're going to sing and and you have a nice voice <coughs> you produce the radio stop it Irene don't force don't me fly go away what's in what fly fly go away <coughs> come again another day I see your face I see your face in the others no 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 let's do this kid we can go in which one you're recording. So it's I see your face. Yeah. One, two, three. You see. I see your face in the other side. <laughs> you know what I want to say. I'm still see. waiting for the day you decide. There's no more fun in the limousine. I sing. I don't Come, know that one. Let's want. go down. <laughs> sing in the rain. Do 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 it.